Assalamu alaikum guys, I pray that you're all well and in the best of health. Um, I'm just doing a little video for you guys um, who are doing your GCSE writing paper tomorrow. We're just going to do some last tweaks um, for things that you can change because at this point really it's not, it's not really the time for you to be studying all of the vocab in the spec. Like You're not going to be able to memorize a ton of vocab between now and then. But there are some tweaks that I can give you inshallah um, that will really up your game for the writing exam for tomorrow. For most of you it's your last exam so huge congratulations you guys. Um, some of you, like, I think there's a German writing exam as well the day after or something. So, um, But those of you who don't have that... You're finishing soon, inshallah. Please make du'a for my students. For all, of, please those of you who are making, are doing the GCSE or even are not doing the GCSE, please make du'a for all of all of the people doing their GCSE um, writing exam tomorrow, and uh, especially for my two my two students who I'm who I'm teaching through the G, through the GCSE this year. I have a student here in Cornwall called Ennis, and I have a um, and I have a student in Kenya as well. Um, so please make du'a for both of those. Um, you know, may Allah bless them, may Allah increase them in knowledge, and may Allah give them success in this life and the next. I mean, so. Um, basically, sport is a topic that is in this, um, is obviously in the GCT spec. Um, so make sure you revise some stuff to do with the World Cup, basically, because they might have just taken the opportunity to do something to do with the World Cup. Like, you know, just, just vocab around the World Cup. Make sure you know how to say, you know, El Ketsil Alemi, you know, the, the, the World Cup, and Mubara, the word for a match, and obviously, Kurat Al Qadam, Fariq. Means it means a team, names of countries and stuff like that. Words that you might need if they if they put one of those questions in. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. So getting into just some actual tweaks, some things that you can just change. Um, so firstly, writing speed is everything. Like if you've got a good writing speed, um, that will change everything in this because the main barrier is people write slowly in Arabic. Um, that's the main barrier for people at GCSE level. And um, that's usually what catches people out. Like usually it's difficult for people to write the number of words that they need to in the period of time that they have. So if you practice your writing speed a little bit more now, just make sure you're warmed up and everything. Even there's no harm before you go into the exam, just sort of be doing this a little bit. You know, just like, just so your writing speed is quicker, your hands can move quicker because it is everything in this exam. But having said that, right? Like, that's everything. And I teach my students that if you can achieve a writing speed of one word every 10 seconds, it's nothing. Like, on, like honestly, it does not take 10 seconds to write a word. Like, and in English, or if we're typing or whatever, we can we can do, like, a word a second sometimes. <laughs> or, like, you know, or, or, or whatever, right? But it's, it's not difficult to do a word every 10 seconds. But if you achieve a speed of one, one word every 10 seconds, it would be a breeze for you. It would be a breeze for you. You know, so let, let me kind of talk you through, you know, let, let, let me talk you through why and sort of the structure, the way that it's a good idea to approach the exam tomorrow. It's a one hour exam, 50 marks available. It's, it's obviously unit four, writing exam. This is the last part of the GCSE paper. Alhamdulillah. So part A, okay. Part A is a shorter, is a, is a shorter writing paper. It's a paragraph. Just think of it as a paragraph that you've got to write. And it's between 30 and 70 words. So quite a broad scope. Aim for 60 as well. Aim for 60 because... Firstly, that's the right amount really to aim for. If the maximum is 70, if you aim for 60, you have a couple of places where you can just put an extra adjective in here and there if you need to, or, or if you go over a little bit, no problem. Okay, take five minutes to plan. That's all you need to plan for this one. It's a short exercise. You know, you'll be able to choose what question what question you want to do quickly because you're going to have an option of one of four questions as well. It's not just one you have to answer. You choose one of four options. So you get two from, um, you know, from the first topic, um, media, travel and culture, whatever it is, and then two from the other one, sport, leisure and work. Um, five minutes to plan, okay? And if you're aiming for 60 words, if you can do a word every 10 seconds, that's that's six words a minute, 10 minutes, 60, 60 words in 10 minutes, right? If you're going to achieve that 60 words in 10 minutes, you'll probably be able to do it quicker than that, right? Five minutes to plan, Keep an eye on the time. I used to take a little watch in. I used to take my own watch in. I'd take it off and put it on the toast. I'd like my own little clock and um, just keep track of, you know, just, just to keep track of it better like that. Um, five minutes to plan for section A. Ten minutes to write it out, to bang it out. Move, and, and there are 20 marks available, by the way. Of, of the 50 marks for that whole paper, 20 of them are in that part. Even though that's, the sm even though that's way smaller than part B, 20 of the marks, nearly half the marks are available, even though it's even though it's, you know, less than, it's, it's like a third of the actual exam. So, you know, there's there's little work that needs to go into it, but there's a lot to get out of it. So, you know, really, really go in sharp. Go in sharp, get your ideas down quickly, um, plan well, and kill it. So within 15 minutes, inshallah, you should be done with it. You can be done with it in 15 minutes. Um, five minutes to plan, 10 minutes to write, writing speed of 
um, one minute, one, one word every ten seconds, and you'll bang out sixty words in ten minutes. No problem at all. Move on to section B. Same same situation. Okay, you've got four questions to choose from: two in um, media, travel, and culture, and two in sport, leisure, and work. These are essays this time. They're not. They're probably not going to be asking you to write a letter or write an email or um, write a description of a town or something like that. They're, they're not going to ask you something like that. It's an essay, so it's important to bring in your opinions. Bear in mind that the same things that you practice for your oral exam they're going to be important in the writing exam as well, okay? So, like, you're, you're marked really well in the spoken exam for giving your opinions and giving reasons for those opinions and for using the different time frames. Do that in the writing exam as well. You have plenty of opportunity to do that in, in section B, so do that, okay? Sometimes you might even get a question which overlaps with a topic, the presentation or the, um, the, presentation or the picture-based task that you chose to do for the oral exam as well. So, Bring in vocab, no problem at all. Bring in vocab, even if it's almost identical to what you did in the oral exam, no problem. And also, um, a, lot, a lot of students don't realise this, right? But the four skills are not equal. Okay, the four skills are not equal. I think for the passive skills, you know, reading and listening, it's actually 23% each of those are, respectively. And then the active skills, um, you know, the speaking and the writing, they're 27% each. So they're actually a bit more weighted towards active skills. Um... Yeah, so um, so wherever you can, you can get a bit more help just for that extra few more percent, inshallah. Um, you know, make use of that vocab that you already have. Make use of those opinions that you already know how to express in an, in an oral setting that you've already done in your oral exam. Good. So when you come into section B, um, spend a bit longer planning. Um, it is it is a twice as long writing task. Um, you know, 120 words minimum. There is no maximum outline, but I mean, I'd say if you're writing over 200 words. I'd say that's probably too much, really. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it up to the discretion of whatever your individual teachers have said. But just if when I'm marking, when I'm marking those papers, or you know, if I'm if I'm giving feedback from my students, it's usually out of place for it to be much over two hundred. Um, good, but one hundred and twenty words minimum. Okay, so it's double. As it's double, one hundred and twenty words. I mean, give yourself twenty minutes. Right, to do 120 rather than 60 words that took you 10 minutes. So give yourself 20 minutes. 10 minutes to plan, 20 minutes to write it out. So you've had 15 minutes for section A, half an hour for section B. 45 minutes altogether, you've got 15 minutes left at the end. Okay, that's quite a lot, really. Like, to be honest, I only think you really need five minutes at the end. So it gives you like a 10 minute leeway and then five minutes at the end to just make sure that you've, make sure that you've, you know, dotted your T's. In English, we say cross your T's, but in Arabic, you you cross you, you need to dot your tears and uh, what else? Yeah, dot, dotted your tears and um, um, looped your fares or something. Maybe we can say for Arabic. But yeah, go back because a lot of the time students miss out on marks because they put the wrong number of dots on words when they're rushing to write or um, or if they forget to put their three dots on a sheen and they just leave it as a scene. Um, you know, so sometimes students miss marks for that. So make sure you run through it. Make sure you put all your dots in. Don't don't waste your time with harakat. You won't get any extra marks, um, and it might just expose to the examiners that you don't know something if you put the wrong harakat in. Um, so you you don't put any harakat in the writing exam. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that saves a lot. That saves a lot of hassle for a lot of people. Um, and then lastly, don't don't fuss too much now over memorizing tons of topic specific vocab like it is possible that there could be a question in the exam on um i don't know what you think about a certain city like if you move to a new city write a write a letter about you know what you think about the new city you don't need to spend time learning like the word for pollution telewuth you don't need to you know you know learn other like really specific vocab for that because there are four questions for you to choose from and you know so like if you have, if you're comfortable on writing like three different essays, you'll have the stuff in there that you can use. Like all of this vocab is transferable, so you'll be able to use it in, you know, you'll be able to use it in other questions as well anyway. If you've revised sport really well, the question on health comes up, you can still use your vocab. Like it's all really transferable. Like at this point, make sure that you're good in just articulating yourself. Make sure you're good at articulating your ideas. Make sure you're confident in giving opinions using the different time frames. And, um, you know, and, um, you know, may Allah bless it for you guys, you know, may Allah bless it for you guys, um, you know, I hope it goes really, really well for you, um, yeah, those of you who at this point, this is the first time you've met me, this is the first time you've watched this video, or this is the first time when you've, when you've been sort of, um, because of the, you know, the pain of how stressful it might be now, thinking about that exam coming tomorrow, um, 
you know, I did run, I did run a GCSE support program, but only one of you signed up for it. So you guys are proper lame for not signing up to it because I couldn't really serve. I couldn't really serve that student well as it's just one. So I cancelled it. But next year, inshallah, I'll run it, um, you know, for more people, inshallah, I'll do more marketing of it. And hopefully we'll get a good group of you on board, inshallah. So loads of you missed out on that, unfortunately. So unlucky. Um, but anyways, I'll keep you guys in my du'as. Um you know, tonight and um, when you finish school, you know, take it easy. May Allah bless you guys. May Allah bless you guys in your futures. And, um, you know, see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.